Oh, hey guys. Hi. Hey. You uh, you wanna make brunch? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so I start my Sunday morning like every other gay man in America with brunch. Today, I'm gonna make some rosemary biscuits. It's kind of messy and sticky and it's fun on Sunday mornings. So this is two cups of all-purpose flour and we're adding two tablespoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Since biscuits don't have any yeast, this is how they're gonna get their lift. Also two teaspoons of salt. Since we're gonna jazz things up today because it's a special occasion, I'm adding one tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary from my garden and now we add the fat. So we have two tablespoons of vegetable shortening and two tablespoons of plain unsalted butter. And you break this up with your fingers. Trying to get all the fat coated in the flour. You might have to clean off your fingers a couple times. See how we're kind of coarse and mealy now? And I'm gonna make a well down the middle and add one cup of buttermilk. So just sort of fold it in on itself very gently with your hands. Once it all comes together and there's no extra liquid, turn it out onto a floured surface. And we're really just gonna pat it down and turn it on itself a couple times. Cause you don't wanna overwork it. Some things aren't good being overworked, like me. That's why I only work at night and on the weekends. If you're a socialite or a debutante, you probably have a biscuit cutter in your house. I am not, I didn't go to Cotillion. So I like to use a mason jar. The way you do it is you just go straight down and then twist. These go on a cookie sheet that I've lined with a silicone mat so that they don't stick, but there's no need to grease it at all because there's enough fat inside of these to keep them from sticking. And another top tip, this is a great one, you want them just barely touching. This way when they bake, they're gonna rise instead of just spread out. I'm putting a tiny bit of butter on the top of each biscuit. These bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. In our downtime, why don't we go see what Lauren and my new handsome friend are doing? So Michael, your grinder profile said that you're an interior designer. That's true. So what are you gonna do to beautify our brunch today? Well, nothing will make your guests more impressed than a big bouquet of flowers on the table. I picked these up at the grocery store today, but you could easily just steal them from the park or your neighbor's front lawn. So the first thing you wanna do when prepping your flowers is to snip the bottoms off. Ooh, I like it cut too. And then you can put them all in the vase, go ahead, and just make sure to fluff everything up and put your most important flamboyant flowers in the middle. Mm. Oh, this one looks like a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. not, not mm -hmm. a fan. Yeah, you're right. So Lauren, one of the most important parts of brunch is drinking, and I know you're an alcoholic, is that correct? Oh, I'm a fan of a good tipple or two. Great, I have a great one for you. We call it the Bitter Queen, and I think you're gonna like it. It starts off with an ounce and a half of Campari. Then we're gonna add a half an ounce of grapefruit juice, one ounce of simple syrup, and two dashes of bitters. And we're gonna shake over ice. Ah! Ah, ah. Okay. And I'm gonna top it with really cheap champagne. And that's how you know it's a broke foodie original. Mmm, sharp, acidic, cold, just like you in the morning. Oh yeah, they're nice and golden brown, just like my college boyfriend. You can split these open, you can fill them with like egg and cheese sandwiches. Uh, that story is really gonna appeal to other people our age. We're very even. Nobody Ooh. likes uneven biscuits. <laughs> what did you guys do last night? Hey, for a second helping of Broke Foodie, just click right over here. If you want to watch something else from our YouTube channel, go on this side. And to subscribe, click right down here. Hey, Joel. Oh, God, you got a knock, buddy.